Ron and Corey Macklin here at ringside. We are ready to go with another day of USWA Championship Wrestling. Lance taking the day off today. He'll be back with us next week. Oh, we got a surprise guest. Uh, yeah. Here coming up in just we won't tell you about it right now. We'll tell you about it in a moment. <laughs> hey, big day today, as Dave has said. PG-13 right here today in action, taking on the team of the Misfits. A new team here in the USWA we'll be taking a look at. An interesting bout with Tracy Smothers taking on the Spellbinder right here in the ring. And a huge giant, seven-foot giant warrior will be with us in a big main event. Too Sexy Brian Christopher taking on Sir Mo from Men on a Mission. Okay, also news if you haven't heard of the USWA, new tag team champions Tommy Rich and Doug Gilbert defeated PG-13 uh, this past week, and uh, they got a loser leave town match coming up. Details on that too. And the unified champion Jeff Jarrett is injured. Word from the doctors, six to eight weeks. The title vacated as a result. Details on that coming up too. We'll get Go and we'll be back with opening action right after this. Time for a new cobalt blue bench style front seat cover for your 78 Mercury Zephyr? Try to find that puppy at your everyday auto parts store. Welcome to Pep Boys, one of the biggest parts stores ever, with thousands more parts and accessories for more cars. More seat covers, floor mats, additives, and things smaller stores just can't fit. And, of course, more name brand parts with lifetime warranties and a low price guarantee. Come to Pep Boys and drive away happy. So it's your first day at work, and are you ever working? Ma'am. Skinny double half, half loud to an extra phone. You who? <coughs> Miss, smoke a double D calf and then we have double lid. Excuse me. Hello, Americano. Extra water. Twix gives you chewy caramel twice, milk chocolate twice, and that great cookie crunch twice. You all sell coffee here? Time out for Twix. Spectacular, breathtaking, crash impact. 60 minutes of blazing crash action in this special edition two-volume set. See outrageous motocross and road racing action, sprint cars and outlaws, Grand Prix, stock cars, monster trucks, power boats, and more. Only $19.95. This exclusive two-tape set is jam-packed with magnificent racing and crash action footage featuring top drivers from around the world. Order now and get absolutely free. Havoc won over 45 minutes of rare footage, including some of the most thrilling and horrifying moments that made early racing history. You'll get this incredible two-tape offer, plus your Havoc video free three takes that'll blow you away guaranteed or your money back to order call 1-800-308-5500 that's 1-800-308-5500 or send 1995 plus 450 shipping and handling to the address on your screen we're going to get to the ring here in just a minute with uh, big action, but uh, Corey and I got a special announcement for you here right now. Special guest coming in. Someone who's had a lot of impact in uh, the USWA, uh, WWF, uh, all around the world in uh, wrestling, as a matter of fact, is uh, here with us today. A wrestler, a former wrestler. Former wrestler because he sustained an injury, a, a very serious neck injury, and it's one of those things uh, that uh, happens to football players sometimes, too, where the doctor says, look, you're okay, but if you get back in the wrestling ring and get hurt uh, again in a similar situation, then uh, it, it is a very serious situation and, uh, and <clears throat> could mean uh, very serious health problems as a result, so don't do it. Well, that's the situation, and right now what we would like to do is uh, bring this person out here and uh, talk to him just for a minute and uh, maybe uh, get some, some ideas about uh, his future in the USWA. The one and only Sid Vicious, former unified world champion. Hello, Sid. Just, just making the announcement about the uh, the neck injury. The doctor said don't get back in there. But as many uh, as many people in sports do, you've got a great background. You know what's going on, and you said, hey, maybe I'd like to try uh, uh, wrestling uh, wrestling announcing so that I can share with the folks some of my knowledge. Well, I'm sitting at home, Dave Brown. I'm sitting, and I'm maybe I'm sulking a little bit, feeling a little sorry for myself. The doctor says, hey, Sid, no more wrestling, man. One more neck injury, and maybe I'll be paralyzed from the neck down. I said, hey, man, it's over, it's over. Then I got a phone call from Randy Hells. Only time maybe Randy Hells give me any good news since I've been in the USWA. He said, Sid, hey, you ain't doing nothing. Come on down, join Dave, Corey, Lance, to the crew. Let's do a little commentary. And I said, 
Let's hook him up. And <laughs> well, we've got you here today. I tell you what, uh, why don't you just stay with us? Uh, join us. We got an extra chair and a microphone. Yeah, Have a seat. Right Let's here. get this thing underway here. Okay. All right, man. Come on around, and uh, we're going to get uh, action underway. We've got our first match ready to go in the ring. Sid will be with us here. With uh, <laughs> well, they running for you, you for president over there already, huh? Woo, Sid Vicious is joining here. us here at the announcing table here today, and uh, Sid will just be uh, talking about uh, the action sure. as it goes along. This first match should be an outstanding match uh, with uh, Doug Gilbert uh, going against Jesse James Armstrong, oh. Brandon Baxter, uh, the manager of Doug there Gilbert. There he is, right there, old Doug Gilbert. Doug, uh, of the USWA Tag Team Champions. Yep, he's yeah. shining it up. He and Tommy Rich are the new tag champions. Hey, Brad, you thought I got some class with you that can tell you how great I am and how good a champion I will be for the Well, I'll tell you something, Dave. You can say what you want about Doug Gilbert, but I'm going to tell you something. I've been hunting down with the, on the road with the boy, and he does know his stuff when he gets in that ring. You can hate him, you can love him, but the boy can get down. Well, I think you're right about that, Sid. Yep. I think the one thing that we have uh, been disappointed in Doug in over his career is that all too often he'll tend to take the shortcut. He will tend to do something uh, behind someone's oh, back. Somebody's going to take the shortcut. What? Yeah, this is hey, a man right on. here who can get oh, in there and go no. the best of him. Jesse James Armstrong steps in. Armstrong, ready to get it on you early. Get out of here, Baxter. You better get out of here when you can, boy. Uh, Bill Rush, the referee. As soon as we get the signal from him, we'll ring the bell and we will be underway with what should be a tremendous wrestling match here today. And this is the opener, fans. Stay with us. Hey, sometimes you gotta take the shortcut, man. Hey, Referee Bill Rush play. is in the ring and we're about to get this one over. Oh, I do too. Oh, look out. It's already started off a yep. barn burst. There's an insult by Doug Gilbert. And Jesse James Armstrong chasing him. Now Jesse James picks up that uh, tag team championship belt. The referee recovers it, passes it out to security, and Bill Rush says, ring the bell, let's get it underway. Brandon Baxter in the corner of Doug Gilbert. I don't like that. I also noticed that he was carrying around a can of spray paint. Uh, he was involved in a painting incident uh, here uh, a week or two ago. And I, I don't like seeing people bring that out here. I don't like seeing guys, you're going to have to fill me in on some of this stuff that's going on. I've been like this paint thing. I don't know what it's about. It has no reason to be out here. It's somebody ought to get it out of here. I agree with you. No doubt about it. Boy, look at Jesse James Armstrong. Big boot up the rope. He's got a pin here, Sid. One, two. Oh, he got two out of it. I thought he had him early, Dave. I did, too. Our I'll tell you guys, I was overseas with uh, Jesse James himself one time. I'll tell you something. I've seen him get knocked down, knocked down, knocked down, and get right back up. Yeah. He can go, boy. He can. Does a little hot dog along with it. He's got his little dancing and rock and rolling, but this guy can wrestle, let me tell you. Said another thing you should know, Jesse James Armstrong was managed by uh, Brandon Baxter just a couple of weeks ago. People are fired up. They are. As always here on USWA Wrestling, what a great opening bout. They don't get any better than this. James Armstrong. Sending into the middle of the ring with Doug Gilbert and his standing headlock. You know, sometimes people think this is it's a little boring, but I'm telling you, you grab a boy in a headlock, and you wear it down a little bit, you've got to where you want it. That's what Doug Gilbert is doing right there. How much of that is mental, Sid? You're you're in the headlock, are you sitting there thinking, I've got to figure a way to get out of this? Well, he just did. <laughs> He didn't, he didn't come out the way he wanted to, but he got out of it. But I guess my question, does it work on your brain as much as it works on your body when you're trying to figure out how to get out of it? Well, of course it does. Of course it does. Doug Gilbert walking around the ring. What Doug's doing right now, he's playing a little middle game. He's trying to get Jesse James a little psyched up, maybe do something the wrong thing, get himself in position that Doug wants him in. He picked up that can of paint. Yeah, no, there's no, there's no sense in that. No, no sense in that. It. You're exactly right. Hey, Sid, hey, Sid. You know everybody's supposed to respect the champion. So why don't you tell all these guys for me just to be quiet? I'm gonna tell you uh, something. Uh, Doug, you might want to argue with them. I'm going to tell you something. You want to go up down roads like this boy has, and he's fought his tail off to get where he is. 
it does. It bothers you a little bit when these people get on you like that. Yeah, but, well, I, I, okay, yeah, I, I agree with that, but I also think champions earn respect well, of the fans, and he, he hasn't really done have to learn. It. You have to learn that. Reverse it, coming knee drop from Dangerous Doug Gilbert. One half of the USWA Tag Team Champions. And right now, I'm strong now, but the fans behind him trying to get him going, see it? One half. That means his partner's somewhere close by. Mm -hmm. Tommy Rich. Good that's, beat. Yeah. Yeah, that's a factor that must be considered. Armstrong reverses. Nice reversal. Oh, ooh, DDT. That hurts. Woo, that hurts. Reversal, reversal. That hurts. Doug Gilbert ends up with the better. That could be it. That could be it. That's it. What? Dave was reaching for the bell over here. Yeah, I thought, uh, at first, I thought Doug had to defend. Then I thought Jesse James Armstrong yeah. had to defend. What a close on. You see that point? What a good match. Man. Man. What a match. It's fired up here. Armstrong and Gilbert, the opening battle. It is a dandy. Doug. Now he's insulting. Just standing over him like that. Oh, that's all. Doug Gilbert. Couple left jabs. Jesse James Armstrong staggering the big guy. He's coming back. And Armstrong whips Gilbert into the corner. Goes in and Doug Gilbert stops him. Big kick from Dangerous Doug. Boy, that stopped the momentum that, uh, that Armstrong had as he was running after Doug Gilbert. Could have been the mistake for the match for Jesse James Armstrong. You know, I gotta say, so far during the match, if it were being scored on points, if we say from time to time, and of course wrestling matches are not scored on points, but Gilbert would be well ahead right now. Way, way ahead. Are you ready for this to be over? Look at this, Doug Gilbert chatting over here to the announce table. You better pay attention to Jesse James Armstrong. Armstrong down. He catches it with that boot. Boy, he stops it. Got him right under the chin with yeah. the boot. Up on the ropes. Now, this, this is where he's messed up. He's Don't take care of Brandon Don't Oh, oh. Hey, hold on. What's this? Tracy What's going Smothers. on? What's he doing out here at ringside? What in the world? That's it. I knew. Real. I knew Tracy. Hey, look at the. Look at this. Yeah. One, two, and three. He got it. Tracy Smothers. Armstrong's Armstrong. former partner. Monday night. Yep. Yep. I coming think there's something week. coming up. I knew something was going to happen like that. Since the falling out, boy, they have really been... Oh, don't paint him. Especially uh, Armstrong. Oh, no, he's going Seems to have been the target. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh, that can stop. No, don't take that paint in there, Doug. This would be hard not to. You, you got a man the... down. Sometimes it's fun. Yeah, you won the match, though. Go ahead and take your victory and oh. get out of here. Oh, oh. oh, Armstrong says don't even think about coming in here with that paint. He's not totally out of it. He got nailed by that flagpole by Tracy Smothers, his former partner. Otherwise, the match... that shoulder, too. It yeah. had to hurt. Yep. Smothers had to hurt. Him right in there, too. Well, that's it. Armstrong uh, gave it a battle, but with the interference, uh, loses the match to Doug Gilbert. Gilbert gets the hand raise here today. We're going to take a break. We've got a lot more, and we'll probably get a word or two from Doug Gilbert when we come back in just a moment. I'm sure we will. To create Wendy's new country French chicken sandwich, Dave not only studied French, he became French. We. Oui. So when he took Wendy's whole breast fillet, a slice of Swiss and Dijon mustard sauce, and placed it all on a delicious country French roll, what was left to say? Dave, votre nouveau pour les très bon. Muchas gracias. Wendy's new country French chicken, c'est magnifique. Hey, having a little trouble packing on pounds for sports? Would it even be noticed? You could cram down all this, loaded with fat and cholesterol. Or you could drink a glass of this and pack on quality pounds. It's General Nutrition's Pro Performance 2200 Weight Gain. 2200 pound packing calories a serving. 
fortified with guarana, OKG, creatine, and royal jelly. Beef up your phones with GNC's Pro Performance 2200 cool. weight gain. Get noticed. Get big. Get a life. Only at GNC. Do you forget friends' birthdays, anniversaries, special occasions, or important dates? You'll never forget those important events again, ever. Join the Lifetime Reminder Service today and receive a lifetime membership that guarantees we will remind you of every date you want to be reminded of. That's right. We'll send you a postcard one week prior to every date you want to be reminded of for the rest of your life. This amazing service for a one-time fee of only $39. No other membership fees or dues ever. The Lifetime Reminder Service is easy to use. Members add or delete dates anytime by phone. And the number of dates a member can enter is unlimited. Forget about writing down all those important dates. We remind you in advance of every date. And we can even send gift baskets to anyone you choose automatically for that special occasion. Call now for your exclusive Lifetime Reminder Service membership. Only $39. 1-800-577-2511. That's 1-800-577-2511. Or send check or money order to the address on your screen. Boy, I just saw a great match here today on our opening bout. Dangerous Duck Gilbert, Jesse James Armstrong. Well, coming up this week, there will be a tag team bout involving PG-13 taking on the new USWA Tag Champions. Wildfire, Tommy Rich, Dangerous Duck Gilbert, and it is a loser leave town. Coming up this week, Duck Gilbert. Well, see, Corey, I don't know if any of these people or anybody out there in TV land really realize what this means. Now, whether myself and Tommy Rich get beat, if we get beat, we're gone. Right. If J.C. Ice and Wolfie D get beat, <laughs> you won't ever have to worry about seeing them again, Corey Mack. Well, yeah, it's a losing team leaves the USWA. You're exactly right. Well, let me get to something, Corey, right now. Now, over the past few years, you know, all of us have had some ups and we've had some downs. Now, J.C. Ice, ever since you was a little boy and you watched your daddy, Bill Dundee, when you growed up, you always told me before that you wanted to grow up and be a wrestler when you was a young kid. Well, since I was a little boy and I watched my dad, Tommy Gilbert, and I watched my brother, Hot Stuff, Eddie Gilbert, all I ever wanted to do was grow up and be a professional wrestler. Now, see, Corey Macklin, what makes me just about that much better than everybody else is this right here. I am one half of the USWA Tag Team Champions. And where Tommy Rich is today, let me lay this very important thing down for just a second. Tommy Rich went home. After we signed this match, Tommy Rich went home. I said, Tommy, you might ought to go on home and think over what we've just done. Because, see, Corey, everything is extinct. There's nothing. There's no tomorrow. For every one of these people out here, this might be your last chance. Well, it's not going to be your last chance to see me. It will be your last chance to see PG-13. Because, Corey, over the last 10 years here, you've seen some violent feuds, right? Well, can you tell me that you've seen any more violent feuds than Rich and Gilbert versus PG-13? Can you tell me that? Uh, yeah, for one year, you guys have really, really had some great matches. Okay. I wouldn't call them great, Corey. I'm so sick and tired of them. I'm tired of hopping in this ring right here, looking across, seeing J.C. Ice and Wolfie D. I'm so sick of it. You know what, Corey? I will even give them a little bit of credit. It hurts. They've hurt me a few times, but what I can say, Corey Macklin, is I have put Wolfie D's eye just about completely out. I have blacked both of Jamie Dundee's eyes. I have pile driven Jamie Dundee right through a table. So what I'm saying, Corey Macklin, it don't matter. There's going to be a winner, and there's going to be a loser this week. And let me make one guarantee like Tommy Rich did last week when he come out here and he guaranteed you that me and him would be the USWA Tag Team Champions. I'm guaranteeing you, Corey Macklin, whether you like it or not, I'm guaranteeing this whole promotion. After this week, 
you will still be looking at the same tag team champions, and you will no longer see PG-13. They will be down the road. Well, we'll see. That's why we have the matches uh, signed coming up this week. Losing team leaves the USWA. Dangerous Duck Gilbert, Wildfire, Tommy Rich taking on PG-13. We've got action in the ring now as the referee, Downtown Bruno, makes his way in. We'll see a new tag team in the USWA coming up here now, Dave. Yes, indeed, the Misfits coming in. There they are in the ring right now. Uh, they're pretty rugged-looking individuals. Look like they got pretty good size on them. I don't know too much about them, but uh, we'll find out as we go along. One thing I do know, Sid and Corey, is that they're going against guys who have been tag team champions for a long, long time. They're not right now, but they are certainly championship-caliber wrestlers. I want to say something about PG-13. You know, I always underestimated those guys. I was in the World Wrestling Federation. They came up there for a TV tape, and I'm going to tell you something. They opened some guys' eyes. Those boys are little, but they got the heart of giants. That's no exactly doubt. right. They got heart, they got the speed, and it, they, they work as a team about as well as any tag team I've ever seen. That's, that's what everybody notices about. This team of the Misfits, Derek Domino and Harley Lewis, come in here and combine a weight of 521 pounds. Out of South, South Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And from the hood, 403 pounds to combine away, J.C. and Whoopi. Hey, I don't know about that hat, guys. I don't know about that oh. hat. <laughs> Boy, I'd like to sport that around, Dad. <laughs> Maybe it's a distraction. Maybe it's right here distracted. What do you guys think? I think it's so. me. It's distracting me already. Oh, yeah, well, I guess it does work then. That and the hubcap, that's what <laughs> better distract those guys. Yeah. Well, they worth the rags, don't they? Jason and Wolfie. Yeah, they're a little flamboyant, but they sure back everything up when they climb in the ring and the bell sounds. Well, I see Dave over here bouncing to that music. <laughs> yeah. <like> that, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we keep that going during the match, yeah. I like yeah, that. I like that. Yeah, what is this? What's downtown Bruno out there? Bruno. Downtown Bruno's referee. Bruno's referee. He's gotten a referee's license. And uh, he's refereeing the match. And th that really bothered me the first time I saw him referee here. But I must say that the yeah, last time too. he refereed a match, he called it right down the middle. We'll hope for that uh, today. He, as long as he's able to do that, yep. always call yep. it down the middle. Got you that think, right. Corey? Yep, no doubt about it. Here we go, Wolfie D. Starting off for the team of PG-13. What about these misfits? What, what, yeah, that's what kind Harley of Lewis. Harley Lewis is starting off for the team of the misfits. They come in here out of South Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ooh, that's a dirty place. These, bo these boys fighting dirty then. Oh, yeah, they are. Bro. Just over 500 pounds of combined weight. Harley Lewis backs up. Wolfie pulls his hair. That's one dirty tactic. That's Wolfie up. On it to the turn. Nobody's home. Nice move from Sir Wolfie D. Go, Wolfie! Referee downtown Bruno right in there. Harley Lewis. Down again by Wolfie D. Harley Lewis. What you notice about these boys are good counter wrestlers. Mm -hmm. If they get them in the move, they got to move to counter. Get up! Get up! Applying that pressure to that arm, boy, that hurts. That elbow is in pain. Got it stretched out there pretty good. Lewis would love to get to the corner and get the tag on his partner. You see what Wolfie doing right there? He knows this is his home turf. He's making these boys feel more uncomfortable out there. He's intimidating. Yeah. He's like, he's the size, but he used the middle part. And a lot of times that wins matches, too. Double elbow. That's Look at this. One, two. Early cover. Quick cover from J.C. Ice. The Iceman almost had him. Takes down this Harley Lewis again. Got his shoulder down. Count this time. Right shoulder came up off the mat just as the one count fell. Yeah. He was almost pinned before that, so I think he didn't waste any time when he heard that hand slap the mat the first time. He wiggled that shoulder off the mat real quick. That one boy needs to get tagged out of there. He's been in there a while. He's yeah. he's took a pretty good whoop. He started the match, and he's been double teamed by PG-13. That is taking them one-on-one. -on -one. Look at J.C. leaps over. Comes back. Reverses. Nice hip toss. Drop kick from J.C. Ice. Goes for the cover here quickly, Sid. That's it. See, these boys, they, that, that, that uh, JC and uh, Jamie, they work like brothers, man. Just like brothers. I know a couple brothers over in Bald Knob, old Jerry and, and uh, Randy Bachman. Those are two country boys. When they get together, they work like brothers. They work hard together. 
Beat the whole thing. PG-13 always running up against tough competition, too. These guys are tough here. They're going against the Misfits, and they've got, of course, a loser leave town match coming up very soon. Loser of the match has to leave the USWA. This could be one of the final times we get to see PG-13. Derek Domino catches JC Ice right in the back with a knee, and finally, Harley Lewis gets a tag. I wonder if old Doug Gilbert talked to these baby. misfits and asked, hey, why don't you show these boys, soften them up, because we don't want a whole lot of competition come Monday night. Well, I sure wouldn't put it past uh, the team of Doug Gilbert and uh, Tommy Rich to say, soften them up for whenever we've got them coming up here in the next, in the next few days. Oh, look at that. He took his legs away from him. They doubled off the misfits. There's a cover on J.C. Ice. Count is a two. But he breaks out of it at the two count. Bruno. Bruno, an honest referee. It looks like he's wearing glasses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you don't lose those things. That's I true. I have those glasses. No, he's blinder in a bat, boy. Not many blinder referees will wear the glasses, you know? Oh, Bruno's trying to call it right down the middle. He makes sure he sees everything. He needs to get down there. Get in the middle of that action. He's a little scared out there. Down there that time, Bruno counts it two, and J.C. Ice kicks out. Fans cheering, go, Ice, go, into the ropes, go, J.C. Ice. Derek Domino. There's a good tag, Boy, this Misfits, they come in here, first look at them here on USWA television here, and uh, they come in out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, over the top rope. Goes J.C., lands on his feet. I did too. Oh boy. Well, there it is. Oh, Whoopi's being told by him. Comes in, look at Whoopi D. Taking care of the misfits. Sir Whoopi. Pops his hands together. Oh, it's up to Harley Lewis. Reversal here. Here comes Whoopi. Out go the lights. They're coming on. Whoopie D. PG 13 working together well, as always. Look at this. Well, there's some teamwork by the Misfits. Yeah, Misfits. The move that PG 13 originally went for in there. They back him up to the rope. Telegraph that a little bit. They're celebrating the victory as they do so. We'll take a break. We've got lots more to come today in the USWA. Stay with us. The men and the machines, the technology and the atrocities, the power and the horror of 100 years of war. The complete history of 20th century conflict, the century of warfare, now available exclusively from Time Life Video. Never before has the entire history of modern conflict been brought together in one comprehensive series. You'll see action you've never seen before and that you can't get in any store. So call now to get Air War for only $4.99. The Century of Warfare, exclusively from Time Life. It's 100 years of combat footage from both sides. Scenes that you can't get in any store. So call now before it's too late. 20th Century of Warfare Air War video, call 1-800-986-1166. Call now or send $4.99 plus $3.49 shipping to the address on your screen. Grab a seat. Hold on tight for some of the wildest bone-jarring rodeo action you've ever seen. You thought you'd seen it all. Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. The most intense, bone-crushing, gut-wrenching rodeo action video ever. Rodeo bloopers. It's all here. Bareback, saddle bra, calf rope, steer wrestling, and the roughest and most dangerous of all, bull ride. It's not if you get hurt, it's when and how bad. Order now. And get absolutely free the original Rodeo Bloopers 1. In this video, it's man against beast, and the beast wins. Don't miss this incredible two-tape offer. You'll get both videos for only $19.95, jam-packed with bone-crunching, hair-raising rodeo action that'll blow you away.
guaranteed or your money back. For order, call 1-800-921-6565. That's 1-800-921-6565. Or send 1995 plus 450 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. In just one moment, we'll be back in the ring with more USWA action. Spellbinder and Tracy Smothers to come right here in just a moment. Right now, we got a b and b Incorporated, Brandon Baxter and Tracy Smothers here. You know, for the last couple of weeks, I've told you what a loser Jesse James Armstrong was. Yeah, a bunch of stuff uh, Shut your mouth, Corey Mackin, but I ask you to speak. You speak when I tell you to. Let's go back and talk about what's happened in the past. Jesse James Armstrong won the USWA heavyweight belt right here in this studio with me in his corner. Whenever Brandon Baxter was out of wrestling with an injury, what happened? Jesse James Armstrong lost the belt. What happened just a couple of weeks ago? The tag team titles were on the line. Jesse James Armstrong lost the match, thus Tracy Smothers and myself lost the tag team titles. That is because Jesse James Armstrong is a loser. Without me, Jesse James Armstrong, you are zero for life. This man carried the team, he made you look like a superstar, and this week he will destroy you. What we're talking about here is I'm glad after three weeks, the USWA has finally decided to grant the Wild-Eyed Southern Boy an interview. All week, all I've heard, man, how could you turn on the Armstrong family? How could you do it? Easy money. That's what it all boils down to. Armstrongs, all these idiots out here, they don't pay my light bill, they don't pay my house note, they don't pay my car note, they don't pay nothing. We got a big tournament coming up, and Jesse James, you're in my way. Aeropunk's in my way. You saw what I did to him today. I'm capable of anything. Yeah, now, let me tell you, you something, Sid Vicious over there, Psycho Sid, whatever you call yourself, I'll fix to take care of your boy Spellbinder right here. I don't care if he can bench press 800 pounds, because I'm the man. If you don't believe it, just ask me, and I'll tell you. Jesse, you're through, man. Unified world title is coming my way. Tracy Smothers, along with Brandon Baxter. Yeah, let's go to the ring for action here we got coming up. Single bout, Smothers and the Spellbinder coming up here now. There's the Spellbinder, ooh. I don't know what Tracy Smothers got against me, I'll tell you, I hadn't done nothing to him, but this old boy Spellbinder might put a whooping on him. Spellbinder is uh, certainly a formidable... Tracy, I might need some training tips, and I do all comes first to you. Tracy okay, Smothers. Mr. Python. Boy, Smothers is... Uh... I don't know. Did I do something to him? No, I don't think so. Smothers... Smothers has just had that kind of what? attitude, especially I'm for the last few weeks. Yeah, sure has. Uh, I don't know what, what Baxter told him. I don't... Uh, I think after attacking Jesse James Armstrong, and at least, you know, when you jump a guy from behind, it's easy to, to get to the hand raised and to appear to be dominating him. And I think maybe that's kind of gone to Tracy's head, and he's starting to believe his own press releases on that, you know? And along with that, he says that Baxter pays his light bills and his grocery bills and all that kind of stuff. That's only so. big, too. Yeah. Well, looks like Brandon Baxter, he needs some conditioning on that head, man. That's drier than hay. <laughs> Smothers complaining. The referee Come on, Tracy, don't time. argue with me, man. That's the boy you got troubles with, not me. That's Smothers. an excellent point. Yeah, got that right. Smothers well, giving up about 30 pounds to this Belmont. This Belmont is a big guy. Let me he's change. a big guy, and he's come along a long way. He's come along pretty good. He really has. Spellbinder wrestling. Got him in the in that headlock. Today, coming in at about 272. Boy. Hey, don't whine to me about it. Get in there and hook him up, son. Hook him up. Sid Vicious. Hey, you get out of here, Baxter. conversation for Tracy Smothers over here. Smothers whining. <laughs> well, hey, I don't have nothing against Tracy. I don't have against anything against anybody. You got to do what you got to do when you're out there. And if it's bugged me to think you're getting too spelled by it, then go ahead and bother me. Because it ain't bothering me at all, boy. <laughs> but you're exactly right. I, I mean, you came right out and said, don't whine to me. I mean, here's your opponent, not me. That's it. Yeah. Hey, my wrestling days are over. I wish I could get up there. I'd I accommodate old Tracy Smothers this morning. But I'm not going to take that chance. I'm not going to let him or anybody else push me over that edge. And you boys be sure that that don't happen. Well, that's, we'll remind oh, you yeah, of that. Oh, yeah, we definitely got to do that. We'll remind you, fans, in case you... 
excuse me, Corey, in case you joined us late, uh, Sid is joining us at the announcing table. Retired from wrestling, the doctor has said, uh, uh you got a neck injury, you go back in there and hurt it again, it could mean paralysis. So as a result, Sid is uh, becoming uh, a commentator and uh, adding uh, some some uh, uh, insight, uh, some inside insight to what's going on here with us today at the wrestling table. You're warming up pretty good, son. Warming up pretty good. And I must add some good insights. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to have a good time. I too. guess that's due to inexperience. Inexperience. Yeah. Well, and also. Oh, uh, here he comes. Look out. Oh, look out. Oh, Down on the floor. That hurts. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Hey, he's finished. Good job, I'm Tracy. I'm going to do Jesse James. Well, I don't blame you, son. Do him up right. Tracy's oh, back under the ropes there. Fish, I'm Tracy. Throws him in and smothers and climbs the rope. He's on the top one. Touchdown. Right to the top of the head. Oh, that hurts. Nailed him right off the Hey, you'll have a bruise when that crane doesn't fall more than you guarantee. Nobody no, no. just kicks out of it, too. Yes. Mothers went to the cover and couldn't hold him for a three count. Spellbinder battling back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Still got today on USWA Wrestling. Now look at that giant warrior and two sexy Brian Christopher coming up today in our main oh. man. Telegraph that a little bit. Look at this, mother hooks the leg two, and the spellbinder kicks out at two. He still can't hold him. That's how tough and strong this uh, spellbinder has great upper body strength. Oh, he yeah. was able just to stop him, just to power him off there before that count of three fell. Yeah. Whip up this, man. He's coming back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He got it. Yeah. Two. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That old kick to the ears right there causes cause some cauliflower ears, son. I'll tell you, that hurt. Move him out there. Mother is back in control here after Spellbinder. Looks like he's going to waste no time, boy. Get to it. He's a punk. Call your name. They're going to get you nowhere, son. Spellbinder in trouble against Tracy Smothers. I was raking the fingers in across the back. That's why I boss is bad. You know, put some pressure on that lower back. Tracy's worried too much about Sean Armstrong and everybody else. How can I see it? You should be. That's a good point. You gotta pay attention to every opponent and respect every opponent that you have. Exactly. And go for the victory instead of showing off. Sometimes you lose the match, huh? Yeah. But it's harder to get those wins and things like that. You're not gonna get them for you. It'll look good in the record book with uh, a few more W's and L's, and Smothers could find himself with an L if he doesn't take the spellbinder serious because the spellbinder can go. Shot to the gut. Oh, oh this has got it wrong. That's why he's going to be a manager at ringside. Yeah, Baxter had the attention of the referee Bill Rush over there, and Bill just did not see the small package. Bill Binder had smothered him. DDT! I'll tell you what, that's a popular move today, though, DDT. Yeah, it is. One, two, and Spell kicks out of there. They are so effective that uh, many wrestlers have put that into their arsenal. Hey, like Tracy's saying he's got him. It looks like he's got a good hold on him, man. Hope the boy don't come out of it. Jesse James, what are you doing here, man? Got that chair lock on him. He's talking to Jesse James right now. Yeah, that's, that's another thing I wonder about. He's, he's looking past. Well, they were, but uh, had that falling out, which involved Money and Brandon Baxter. Baxter cost them a tag team match, blamed it on Armstrong, and turned Smothers against Armstrong as a result, and then passed him a check to uh, cement the relationship. Well, he came out here and acts as if he's going to make up with him. And Off the back. top, hot. Back to the gut. Look at this, Spellbinder. Ooh. First kick, Whoa. boy. Good move from Spellbinder. Whip Smothers the into the rope. Big power slam. Where's he going from there? Comes on. Oh. That is what you called experience. Way out. Smothers right near the end of the canvas. Hold on, guys. What's going on? Brandon, Brandon is circling that ring. Look at that. Smothers got his ring. Smothers used the rope. Yeah. Come on, Bill. Rush open your eyes, son. Well, the referee had a 
his head down. He sent down and he didn't see it. I know it. Here comes Jesse James. I'm telling you what, son. I'll give it to you. You won. And you got to win the way you got to. Armstrong is explaining to the referee what happened. He said, you're not going to get away with that. You, you use you those ropes. Reversal. Reversal. I'm sick of him interfering in all my matches, man. I'm going to kill you, Jesse. Armstrong. Hey, where's he running to, boy? Where's he running to? <laughs> He's running away from me. What are you, psycho? Well, I could be, son. Hey, don't, don't get involved with Sid. Sid joining the announcing team. He's, he's, he's joining the announcing team. We don't, we don't want to get to uh, nice Yes, he does. Doing a good job, too. Uh, thanks for uh, pointing that out to the referee. That's exactly what happened there. I know you and Smothers got to go each other uh, very soon, though. Time and time again, Tracy Smothers has stuck his nose. Sit for two weeks now, he's stuck his nose into my business, and they talk about Jesse James being the loser. <laughs> well, everybody knows that I was both brain and brawn, glitz and glamour of Armstrong's army. I'm what was going on in Armstrong's army, and Dave, I know you understand that, and these people understand that. Bottom line is this, just like old times, it's a unified title tournament. Jeff Jarrett, I would have loved to wrestle you for it, but you got hurt a little early. Bottom line is just this, Tracy Smothers, I get my hands on you in round number one. <laughs> and you better learn to live by the immortal words of the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, Tracy Smothers, the wild-eyed southern boy. You better think, boy. Think about what you're trying to do to me. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. Bottom line is this. Unified title. I'm going to the top. Tracy Smothers, I'm going through you like hot knife through butter. Big Sid, he thinks that Tracy Smothers is staying to the end. I think he's staying until I'm done with him. All right, well, a little difference of opinion there. He thinks he's going to get Tracy Smothers out in oh, first no, round, Jesse, and he just a, just, will advance. Just an opinion. Just an opinion, Sid says. All right, we'll just be back with more opinions Jesse, from Sid and much more action in the USWA. You stay with us. Man, what a day we got going here today, huh? Here we go now. Nobody, 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 nobody. It's all right. It's okay. No stick. No That's all right. We'll get it back now. All right, come on. This is the guy. If your next meal might be some time off, remember, nothing satisfies like Snickers thick milk chocolate roasted peanuts and creamy caramel. Okay, we're wearing them down. Snickers. Hungry? Why wait? It's okay. If you think stress is tough on you, consider your engine. Traffic jams. Towing and hauling, even idling can lead to damaging wear. That's why Castrol is introducing Syntec Blend, the only synthetic blend that combines Castrol conventional oil and Syntec molecular components for greater protection than conventional oil in severe driving conditions. Because too much stress can be fatal. Castrol Syntec Blend, added protection for severe driving conditions. Even if you've had past credit problems, you deserve a second chance. Now qualifying for a Visa Classic card has never been easier. I'll be back in just a minute to tell you how you can get yours. When our car broke down, we tried to rent a car. Without a credit card, we were out of luck. Ever try to check into a hotel without a credit card? Forget it. I couldn't even send flowers to my mom on her birthday. Now, secure your credit with a Visa Classic Secured Credit Card. If you earn at least $150 per week, are 18 years or older, have a valid Social Security number, and are not currently in bankruptcy, then you will be considered for approval. I was a bit apprehensive when I applied, but I was approved despite my past credit problems, and I received my Visa card in less than three weeks. It was so easy. I applied right over the phone, and I got my Visa card. It feels so great. I just hand them my card and say, charge it. Qualifying for a Visa Classic card has never been easier. If you have a checking account, we can even take your application right over the phone. So call the number on your screen right now. Well, we're back. Yeah, got, we hey, are man, indeed. Let me ask you something. Yes. You know, they're talking about this uh, elimination for the Unified World Championship. Everybody yeah, tournament's knows, coming up. Everybody knows who you're going to face that first time around, but what about your next match? How are you going to uh -huh. prepare for that? That's, so your first tough... Brandon, we're trying to have a discussion yeah, about the trying to figure something here. You've been I out here. I want you people to be quiet while I'm talking. You understand me? What do you want? I have something I want to tell you. Okay, scared? let's get on with it. Just like these bulging biceps, B&B &B Enterprises grow stronger and bigger each and every week. 
Let's talk about what's happened. There's a lot of people out here who hate my stinking guts, like Jesse James Armstrong, who are trying to get rid of me. So what did I do? I can't send Tracy Smothers out to watch my back at all times because he's got to face Jesse James Armstrong. I can't have Doug Gilbert and Tommy Rich watching me all the time because they have a feud with PG-13. So what I've done, I have brought in a new man. A man who's going to be my enforcer. A man who is going to watch my back and destroy anyone who steps in my path. Take a look at this. He is seven feet tall. He is a giant warrior. Take a look at this. No one messes with Brandon Baxter anymore. You go in there and you destroy him. Destroy him. He's big. He's big. Let's see what he can do, Dave. Let's see what he can do. He doesn't stop the talk. Ring the bell, Bruno says. Yeah, referee Bruno calls for it, and it'll be our first look today at the seven-foot giant warrior. Ooh. This warrior. Ooh, he slung him off. Boy, he comes in at 323 out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We got a lot of folks in Pennsylvania here today. Yeah. You know, this fist must stuck a roll down here together. <laughs> Including uh, Bruno Grizzly from Pittsburgh. That's he's, right. He's standing over tall, old oh, shadow there. Oh! Oh, we got him by that heart. Warrior started fast and he's not letting up against the uh, the shadow. Big fall, the boy's put the boots to the shadow. Seven feet tall, he's huge as he went by. Across the whole thing there, here he comes. Oh, Japanese clothesline. Hey, speaking of huge, somebody that's not huge in stature but has a big heart, how's your buddy Seth doing? I'm going to tell you something, he called me last night, he lives up in the Hey, have you talked to Dave Brown with you? I said, no, but I'll see him tomorrow morning. And Seth Patel said he wants to tell everybody out there, hello. Be sure and give him the best of the USWA fans when you talk to him again. The victory for the Giant Warrior, and I tell you what, in no uncertain terms that he defeat the Shadow. We're going to take a break. Well, he brought out a good piece of talent, and the boy did what he had to do. He looked pretty good out there. We'll be back in just a moment. Here's nine-time Country Comic of the Year, Jerry Clower. I was in a great big hotel in New York City the other night. They got nine channels. I got 200, and they call me a hick. Now, on stage with Jerry Clower on VHS Home Video. Nasty rat run up my overhaul britches legs. And I caught him right there above my knee. I told my brother Sonny, I said, get your pocket knife. Because I don't believe I can back him down. And I know I ain't going to turn him loose. Jerry will bring joy to your heart and a smile to your face. Let old Jerry tell you some facts you ain't acquainted with. Your young'uns are going to get grown and they're going to leave home, but they're coming back. And they're going to bring more with them. He's the master storyteller. I said, well, you got your rifle, you got your grunt. Go on deer hunting. He said, I need a scent. He said, you put that scent out, smells just like a doe deer, and that old buck can't resist it. He said, granddaddy, when you was a lot younger, courting grandmother, didn't grandmother put on some of that sweet-smelling scent to get your attention? I said, she sure did. And I got up as close to her as she'd let me, but she didn't shoot me. This new one-hour video is great entertainment for the entire family. On stage with Jerry Clower. Here's how to order. For fastest delivery, have your credit card ready and call toll-free 1-800-708-6688. That's 1-800-708-6688. Or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $4.50 shipping and handling to Jerry Clower. P.O. Box 6800, Department F, Libertyville, Illinois, 60048. 
TD Steel is in the ring. Brian Christopher has arrived. We're ready I'm going to tell you something. I wouldn't want to be TD right now for nothing. That Brian is wound up tighter than I don't know what, and he's fixing to let loose right here. I guarantee it. I think you're right. I'm not sure Brian Christopher is going to be looking at TD Steel. I think he's going to be thinking the matches ahead. Maybe he's thinking of, uh, we'll say, Jerry Lawler, uh, somebody maybe. And that could be match. it. Referee has said, ring the bell. T Jerry Lawler can beat me. Yeah. Yeah. Brian Christopher, he, he's asking T.D. Oh, if T.D. thinks Jerry Lawler can beat him. Well, T.D. Steele is going through his ritual that Walmart yeah. and all that. Yeah. Man, but I well, he should have stood there like that. He should have yeah. went to whack him in his eyes. But Brian Christopher goes after him. Immediately, big body oh, slam from T.D. Steele. Big right hand from Too Sexy. I'm going to tell you Brian something. Brian Christopher. <laughs> Oh, look at Brian. Wow, big right to the head. To the big corner. top oh, that's it. Super kick. And a cover. One, two, two and three. three. He got it. I told you, he's Brian. wound up, boy, and he's ready to go. Quick win for Brian Christopher. We'll take a quick break, but we'll be back. Yeah, 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 baby. jungle you can bring the new ace to your place call him wild <laughs> call him crazy <laughs> call him yours to own on video i'm time the popular one ace ventura when nature calls now on video things are changing like the way we call collect now instead of zero millions of people are dialing 1-800-COLLECT to save on collect calls millions of people saving millions of dollars Hey, change is a good thing. Anytime, any phone, anywhere. 1-800-COLLECT. It's the way we call Collect today. You and I have a lot in common. I look at you, I see myself. Pay too much for auto supplies and you'll feel like one too. At Pep Boys, Auto Light Spark Plugs now 49 cents with rebate. Pep Boys, everything but gas. Come visit the world-famous Milan Gallery in historic downtown Fort Worth, Texas. Milan Gallery has shows with world-famous artists such as Henrietta Milan, the exclusive showing of artist Sky Jones, Mad from Czechoslovakia, and local artist Rome Milan. For information on upcoming shows, call the Milan Gallery at 817-338-4278. Not since Christie's in New York has a gallery made such an impact on the artist community. This blue represents pride and determination. The red, the courage and sacrifice shown by those few who knew what it was to stand alone. The white, honor and integrity. The same could be said for this red, white and blue. Is it any wonder so few can wear it? Well, we've already talked about it a bit. We're talking about PG-13, uh, former USWA Tag Team Champions. I say former because uh, Doug Gilbert and Tommy Rich, Wildfire Tommy Rich, Dangerous Doug Gilbert are the new champions. They won the belt uh, just days ago, and yep. uh, they now hold the belts. Uh, there is a match coming up. But it has an interesting stipulation. Not only are the belts at stake, and the winners will be USWA Tag Team Champions, but the losers are out of here. Got think that about, right. Think about it. You know what's going through those guys' minds? I've been part of something like that before. Inside their stomach right now, the nerves have just got their stomachs tied in knots. They don't know what to do, but they know this, this is the only way to resolve this feud. Do you think that's true, even for guys like Doug Gilbert and, and Wildfire Tommy Rich? Do, do, you, do you think it gets to I know it is, too? Dave, because it's happened to me. And I'll tell you something, I've, I've always prided myself having nerves of steel. But when it comes down to something like that, you sign that contract, then it hits you. Man, look what you figured out then, what you didn't sign. The loser leave town. It's too late to back out. You put your pride at stake. You put your heart up there. Everything you worked all those years to gain happens like that because you could be taken away from you and it's coming up this week here's sort of a recap of what's led up to the loser leave town match yeah Ooh.
saw Doug Gilbert. What kind of sports those guys would have been. Gorgeous George almost had a heart attack. It's a count of two. Much less. I know that you're going to see this, Tommy Rich. And I want you to look into these eyes right here. You look in this man's eyes, and I want you to know that this is not going to end until PG-13 puts you three miserable individuals to rest. And I promise, and that's all I've got to say, Lance. Okay, George nails him right in the back. Puts him down in the ring. One, two. He got him. He got him, Lance. That's all to your own, baby. New champion. As they've got J.C. Ice up on the table, You've seen the hit series Cops, but you've never seen Cops like this. It's uncut, uncensored. Come on, man. It's too hot to show you here, but order now and you'll see it all. To order, call 1-800-305-4499 or send 1995 plus 495 shipping and handling to Cops Video, 507 Maple Leaf Drive, Nashville, Tennessee, 37210. I call the lights. I return to destroy you. I come. This is Tarzan, the true power of Earth and beyond. At the Earth's core, Tarzan calls the light to battle the fiendish King Surtak, his horror, and vile mayhem. Only Tarzan has the power. But will good triumph or will evil? Tarzan! Tarzan at the Earth's core with awesome adventure disc. Be cool about fire. Do you know how to escape from your home if there's a fire? You gotta have a plan. Uh, they didn't have a plan. But these people do. Grown-ups can make it, and firemen can help. Okay, in case of a fire, you and your sister are to go out this door. Or we can always go out that way. We have two exits, okay? So make sure your family has an escape plan, whether you live in a house or a building. You gotta have and you'll be a step ahead. Be cool about fire safety. Be cool. If you don't want to get burned, be cool about fire safety. you got a lot to learn. And remember, practice makes perfect. It could save your life and your family. So tell your parents, we got to have a plan. Be cool about fire safety. Be cool. I don't think you'll find four tougher competitors oh, anywhere in the world. What yeah. matches they've had, this Rich Gilbert PG-13? No Ooh. doubt about it. Well, it's been going on since I was here. That's been going on for years and years, and it's, and it's come to a boil, and the head is ready to pop. And, it's, and I'll tell you what, wherever it is, I don't, I, I'd like to see it. I'll tell you what. It's going like to be a big one. It. And it's coming, up coming this, week. this week. No doubt hey, about we're it. we're all out of time here. Thanks for joining us today. Back next week. Uh, Lance will be back next yeah. week. For Sid, for Corey, I'm Dave Proud. So long, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of USWA Championship Wrestling.